<clears throat> Do I look any different, guys? <laughs> just a little. All right, let's just start off like this. This is my little baby. This is my belly bump. <laughs> Damn, that's just, that is just there. My belly button's getting weird. I have a little line. <sighs> I have had such an intense craving, I'm out of breath, <laughs> for orange juice. That's my recent thing. I have just needed orange juice all the time. What's up everybody and welcome to another pregnancy update. I am about halfway through my pregnancy, a little bit past halfway, I'm about 22 weeks right now. I just want this to be informative for women out there who are wondering what it might feel like at about this point, what my signs and symptoms were throughout the rest of my first trimester because I made an update around like five, six weeks. So this is my what happened since then until now video. <sighs> After my last video, I was in pretty high spirits. I felt like I had a bit of nausea here and there, but it was nothing overwhelming. It was not holding me back. I had a couple of headaches. They were somewhat bad but I did not know what was in store for me at that point. So I go back and I look at that video and I'm like, oh, that's cute. The rest of the first trimester and very beginning of the second trimester were rough for me, pretty rough. Um, but I would say the worst part of it was, even until now, the worst part was weeks seven, eight, and nine. That is when I was the most nauseous. I never actually threw up, so my heart goes out to people who actually do throw up a lot. I know people who like lose weight in the first trimester. <laughs> that has not been my experience, but I was nauseous. And it was not just morning sickness, it was literally all day nauseous. I was dizzy. If I stood up too fast, I would black out. I tried to get outside, but like lights and cars moving by, really, it just made me feel awful. Sensitive to light, sensitive to sound, super sensitive to smell, like, oh my God. David puts this like truffle seasoning on his food. Ugh, can't even talk about it. I can't talk about it, we're gonna move on. I remember waking up in the middle of the night with just the most intense headache of my life to the point of like, and I've had headaches my whole life, right? I've had migraines my whole life since I was a kid. But these are the worst I've ever had to the point where I didn't know what to do with myself. I was in so much pain. I was like, you know, like rubbing my head as hard as I could. I had heat pads, I had ice, I was alternating. I couldn't take anything other than Tylenol. And even at that, I was kind of afraid to overdo it. If you guys don't know when you're pregnant, I mean, any woman who's pregnant watching this probably knows, but if you don't know, if you're looking forward to something like this, it's so fun. You can't take any medicine really. If you have a headache, all you have is Tylenol. And if you have indigestion, sometimes you can have Tums, but I am so paranoid that I'm afraid to even push it with that. So I would, you know, limit myself on it and just try to, to drink extra water and sleep it off, which was largely unsuccessful. I had a lot of headaches during those weeks and it was really miserable. And not to mention like, I was irritable as hell. I feel bad for David. I mean, don't get me wrong. I was irritable before, <laughs> I'm irritable now. But during that first trimester, it was bad. I didn't, I don't know if it was because of hormones. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure it was because of hormones, but also like when you feel that sick for that long and you don't really have relief from it, you start to kind of <laughs> lose yourself a little bit in that and it's just, overwhelming, at least it was for me. Like I couldn't get work done. We were in a pandemic, right? And being pregnant in a pandemic, super paranoid about everything. So I wouldn't see anybody. And I just had no social life. I had no relief from pain. I couldn't really tell anyone because this is something that I, you know, wanted to keep to myself for quite a while. And I'm gonna make an entire other video on that, by the way, on um, the choices I've made to keep it private for so long and the pressure from other people to not do that and how invasive that whole experience has been. So that's another video, I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna go back to this one. But anyway, those three or four weeks were really just hell, they were. And then, you know, everyone, everyone told me, they're like, once you get into the second trimester, you're just gonna feel so much better. And I was like, bull, 
shit. This is never, I'm never gonna feel better. I'm gonna perpetually be miserable. I am just used to it at this point. I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna be in pain. My whole body hurt too. It felt like I was about to get sick. You know, like that feeling right before you, you get hit with the flu or something where your whole body is just weak and everything hurts and your head hurts and you just feel weighed down and like every little joint is painful. It's just like that pre-sick feeling. And I had that just the entire time on top of the headaches, on top of the nausea. It just really sucked. But I will say about a week into the second trimester, I was a completely different person. I had energy, the headaches were gone for the most part. I still get them kind of sometimes, but nowhere near nowhere near the intensity as what it was before. One thing that did kind of develop at the end of the first, beginning of the second that I hated was this really strange metallic taste in my mouth. And this is normal, I've looked it up, it's a thing that a lot of people experience, but for me, it was just so overwhelmingly intense. Like, it made me feel like I needed to always have like a lozenge or candy or be eating something or drinking something that was strong, like with a strong flavor because I did not, like that flavor was in and of itself just making me feel sick. It felt like I was sucking on pennies, like it was nasty and it was really affecting like my appetite and my feeling overall, like just if you can't get a taste out of your mouth, it just ugh. Thank God that is behind me. At this point though, I will say I have gone through so many different cravings and that's always like the first question people ask you like, what are your cravings? I will say I've had many. The first trimester, it was overwhelmingly pickles. Just, I wanted pickles and I wanted pickled jalapenos on top of the pickles, which sounds gross, but honestly it was delicious. And I also would have olives and cheese with that. And it's, it's still, honestly, it sounds good right now, but I don't have like that need, like I need it. I was like a monster, like I needed my damn pickles. David's so funny, he went to the store and he bought me like literally every kind of pickle. <laughs> and I still have some, so that's great. Hopefully it can last me through the end of this pregnancy. But I just, the pickle thing was, was intense. Another craving I had, these are so random, peanut butter and jelly. Mm. I just wanted peanut butter and jelly sandwiches all the time. And <laughs> Lunchables? You know, uh, don't, don't judge. I just, I like needed this. Don't judge me. I really like for survival needed to eat this right now. I wanted Lunchables, I still want Lunchables. I want one right now. The pizza ones and the, the little turkey sandwich ones. Oh my God. That with a giant glass of orange juice and I am happy, I'm good. I will say I am craving a lot of food all the time, spicy. I really want spicy food. I have been less interested in sugary foods and sweet things. I just want spicy. I want spicy and sour. So that is that is an interesting thing. Um, I am gaining weight. So like I said, I'm a little halfway through pregnancy at this point and I am about 15 pounds heavier than what I was when I started which I do believe is actually on the higher end of what people do. I forget what the recommended range is, but you know, I was pretty tiny before and I don't feel like it's unhealthy, you know? I'm growing a human being, I don't feel bad about it. And if I'm, oh my God, if I don't eat, if I'm hungry and I don't eat, it's not a matter of just not being hungry, it's a matter of not being sick. If I do start to feel myself getting a little lightheaded, which happens still now, if I do feel myself getting a little bit nauseous, if I have that flavor coming back in my mouth, um, if I have a little bit of a headache, and the biggest one lately is if I am, moody, and I don't mean moody is just an irritable, I mean as like things just, I wanna cry. Like if I clean the house and then I turn around and there's just something that is, I thought I cleaned and it doesn't look good or something, I will cry. And I've noticed if I eat smaller meals more often throughout the day, that that kind of makes me a just happier person. Also, I have more energy and I feel a lot better. One thing though I will say about second trimester that kind of sucks is I, you know, on that, on that note of weight gain, I don't feel bad because I know I'm growing a human being, right? But if I, I put my drink down so I can show you. If I real talk with you guys, I know there's a baby in there, right? You know, of course, my, my beautiful, my beautiful little baby. Um, 
I understand that, right? Logic explains that to me. But the emotion that I feel, right, when I look at myself in the mirror is not always overwhelmingly positive. I do feel a little self-conscious here and there. Um, and you know what? It's probably not just how I look. It's also like I'm constantly feeling bloated. That's a new thing, by the way, second trimester. It's fun. You feel bloated all the time. You fart a lot. Um, I <laughs> never really had to throw up, but I do have diarrhea issues sometimes. TMI, I'm sorry. That's what this video is. I'm pregnant. What do you expect? Your body does a whole lot of weird, gross things, and this is just this is just the beginning. Another TMI thing is there's a lot of extra vaginal discharge. I am so sorry. Literally, this is what you expect in this video. I'm gonna keep saying that. It is what it is. If you're grossed out by this, then I'm, you're maybe watching the wrong video. It's a thing. I've just been wearing panty liners and, and showering more. I understand the function of it as it forms like some kind of protection for the baby, so that's nice. Glad that, you know, safety first. <laughs> my boobs are getting huge. Like, it's ridiculous. I don't know what size I even am anymore. I have been wearing stretchy bras or tank tops like this that have like a built-in bra. I, because the bras I have just, I, they're in a drawer. I don't know if I'll ever get to use them again. I should probably go somewhere and get professionally sized to figure out where I'm at because it's not where I was. I didn't have boobs, I wanted boobs, I got boobs, and now they're even bigger, which David's not complaining, so I'm not gonna complain either. Let's see here, I'm on a list of symptoms for the second trimester, just trying to see if I can relate to any of these. I haven't had nasal problems, I haven't had dental issues, leg cramps, no, but my feet have been killing me. I'm glad that I saw this because it reminds me. I actually bought myself some compression socks and that has helped. I also got some tennis shoes to wear around the house, which I know sounds stupid to like walk around in tennis shoes in the house, but we have hardwood floors and like I just, the my, it's weird. It's like my heel and like the ball of my feet, like this part right here. Oh, even now. Freaking ow, why? So yeah, there's a lot of just like feeling unattractive that happens and the bigger you get, the more uncomfortable you feel. Um, I haven't like seen any stretch marks or anything yet. I'm still pretty early, so I don't know that the time is right for that. Um, but I do feel like pains, like sharp pains. Like I don't know that it's Braxton Hicks at this point, but I do feel sometimes I'll just be sitting there and there'll be just like a sharp pain. I'll be like, oh, um, it'll like kind of knock the wind out of you for a second. So that is really not fun. Lately, and, and David said that this is like a time in the pregnancy whenever I hit about this mark that you, you start like st stretching more, like the baby's growing faster and your actual like ab muscles start moving out more or something. But I feel that, like, you know that cat pose or whatever in yoga where you like put your arm, oh man, I even feel it now. You like put your arms out, oh, and you like stretch this, like, that hurts like a bit. It really hurts, and it's really not fun. And even though I'm sitting here kind of like talking up, the second trimester is so much better than the first, which it is, that is true, but that does not mean that it's fun. It is actually like still miserable. I feel pretty miserable a lot like the other day. Um, I remember it was like at night and I was having really, really bad gas. I don't know why I didn't eat anything particularly like inflammatory, but I was just really bloated and I felt myself stretching and there was literally no position I could put my body in to be comfortable. I couldn't like bend forward. I couldn't like bend to the side. There was like nothing I could really do to feel better and then I had a little bit of a headache on top of that and I just didn't feel good and I was so tired. I was so tired. I just like had a moment where I broke down and I cried to like David and I'm like, I just don't feel good. Like nothing feels good. I'm never gonna be healthy again. I'm never gonna feel good again. This, this is going to take everything out of me and I'm just gonna be drained. So there are moments of still feeling overwhelmed, but li literally still, it's nothing I can even compare to that week seven, eight, nine hell. That really did suck. <laughs> and I know I'm griping and bitching about all of this, but I wanna be honest, I wanna be real because I see so many people doing these updates or, or talking about pregnancy in general and they're just, you know, I, I mean, I hope this is really their experience, but they're just very overwhelmingly like positive about their experience and they're like, oh my gosh, look at my skin, my hair, my nails, I'm just glowing and like, you know, good for you. Um, get it girl, I'm happy for you, but um, 
being pregnant isn't all that fun and there are a lot of things that go with it that are uncomfortable and if it's something that you're considering doing i want you to have like a realistic picture of going into it like you know like when you fall in love and you are you know educated from disney movies sometimes that like sets you up to be not as prepared to like get through things that are difficult and i want people to be able to like get through these things knowing that it is difficult and if you experience difficulties with your own journey that you're not alone that you're not like weird for having pains or not being overjoyed every second of the experience like it's okay granted i am aware that like i'm lucky i know i'm lucky especially since we ended up getting pregnant immediately. Like that was not something I expected or he expected. I have a long history of struggles with that in my family. So I kind of expected to struggle too. I'm so thankful and I am so excited. I'm so excited to actually have a baby. You know, this, this whole like making the baby, growing the baby, my body like being eh, hasn't been something i've been stoked on but i'm excited for the end result right i'm looking forward to the end result and i am thankful every single day that i even get to complain about this right i understand i understand all of that but i do still want to be honest that i've had moments i've had some moments of just kind of breaking down with all this and feeling overwhelmed overwhelmed is a really good word anyway i am excited i'm excited to keep updating you guys i have been every week I've been trying every week, sometimes every other week. I've been standing on this like X and showing the development of my belly getting bigger and bigger. And I'm gonna make one of those cute little videos where you put it all together. Oh. I'm nervous, but I'm, I'm feeling confident. I think I'm gonna be a good mommy. David's gonna be so amazing. He's really excited too. And I know that at this point that the baby can hear a little bit. So we have been I've been singing to my belly, <laughs> I've been talking, you know, and I, I explained, you're gonna be born in August, and guess what? That means Halloween's in two months, and then Christmas, and I just explained Thanksgiving, and Hanukkah, and all the things. David's been like, hey, it's dad. Gonna go to preschool, fuck yeah. Gonna go to kindergarten, fuck yeah. Gonna go to first grade, fuck yeah. Ooh, yeah, little baby. Song. It was good. I just wanted to throw in some tidbits of excitement and good in there, but these updates really are more about my body, the physical changes that I'm going through, and the way it feels to expand, and all the hormones and all the things that are going on, which, you know, that part isn't the most fun. Ah, at this stage, the highlight of your prenatal visits might be listening to your baby's heartbeat. That has been fun, but I think my highlights have been the actual, doing the ultrasounds and seeing the sonograms. Like those have been really cool. Since I am at my halfway point, I just did something called the 20 week anatomy scan where they did this for like, it was like 30 minutes I was laying there and they looked at every little thing, every heart valve, every, every bone. I got to see the little beats, the little profile of the face. Like, oh my goodness, I could see like the, the hand with the thumb and the mouth and oh my God. It's just like, to me, that makes it feel so much more real to actually get to see my little baby. So those have definitely been the highlights. All right, guys, this was fun. I think that about covers everything. If you have any questions or if you wanna know more, please leave a comment. I would love to read through all of these. I'm sure I can address them in a future video or try to respond to you right now because I know that this is a really exciting time if you're going through it or if you just have questions about my experience. I am all about talking about these types of things right now. So please leave a comment, like this video if you liked it, 
share it everywhere, and also subscribe, Frank Family Vlogs. This is like our new family vlog channel. I'm excited to keep talking about all things baby, and since I waited so long to announce being pregnant, you guys are only gonna know that I'm pregnant for like a couple of months, and then bam! There's gonna be a baby. It's all happening very quickly. So stay tuned, meet my baby, be a part of our family journey by subscribing. Thank you again to everybody who supports us over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Jacqueline and David, or by checking out our merch store, ffvmerch.com. Alrighty, that's everything. See y'all in the next one. Bye.